that there was his brother who used to come to the masjid when he was young. He was booted out of the masjid because of some noise that he was making in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, it may well be that due to our cultural practices, we talk to someone or we deal with someone in a way that is pretty problematic. So he was booted out of the masjid. This in the same individual started clubbing later on down the line. And I'll tell you guys what happened in the club. He went to buy a drink or so and whatever else they buy from the bar. And as he was walking towards his table, he dropped the drink. The bartender came running to him and said, don't worry, don't worry about it. He cleaned the place, went back to the bar and brought him a fresh new drink and said, here you go. Later on, the same brother said, look how they treated me in the masjid and look how they treated me in the club. Right? Our mu'amala ma'an nas, the way we treat people goes a very, very long way, brothers and sisters. It really, really does. And the good treatment and the bad treatment is something that isn't easily forgotten. People remember this. It could be that one interaction you had with that individual that he never ever forgets. Right? That he never ever forgets. And the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my brothers and my sisters, is called what? Baytullah in Arabic. The house of Allah. It is not just for practicing people. It's not just for the other. The old man that we see sitting on the front rows, right? He's always in the front line. The message is not just for him. The house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is for every individual who considers himself a Muslim. And likewise, the non-Muslim is able to come to the house of Allah Azza wa to see guidance, to learn about Al-Islam. The masjid is a center for just about everything you can think of. Right? So we want to be individuals who are welcoming. Individuals, my brothers and my sisters, who don't make it uncomfortable for others. Right? 